Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today I am going to continue the operator overloading concept. In previous sessions, we are discussing how to overload a operator and why we need the operator overloading means generally operators are working on predefined data types only. Okay. To operate usually defined data type, we should have to overload the operators. And in previous session, I have given how to overload unary operator plus plus and minus minus and I have given already how to overload binary operators like plus uh, double equal okay, greater than operator and also I have given how to overload operators by using friend function okay, by using friend keyword. Next today I am going to show you how to overload insertion and extraction operator in C++. Already in C++ we are using the operators like less than less than with the C out and greater than greater than with the C in. Okay. We know that C out is a predefined object and C in also it is a predefined object and this one belongs to okay, which class O stream class and this one belongs to I stream class. Here the important thing is C out C in are the predefined objects of O stream and I stream classes and the combination is what I O stream. Okay. Now I am going to show you how to overload less than less than which is called insertion operator and greater than greater than which is familiar with the name extraction operator. Here one important point is that less than less than is associated with C out and greater than greater than is associated with C n. For example, I n t a equal to 10. Now, I want to print the a value by using C out. Now, it is the statement C out less than less than a and here watch this example C out is what? predefined object of which class O stream and A is what? It is a integer variable that means less than less than or insertion operator is working on which one? Predefined data type, predefined data type. Next and here less than less than is having left side what? C out, C out is the member of or object of O stream class that is why whenever we are overloading, whenever we are overloading less than less than the left side object should be of a class okay? and right side one variable. Next now I am going to operate the user defined objects. Okay? Now I want to use the insertion and extraction operators on user defined object because of here see this C in A. Now, C in is what predefined object and A is what user defined data type. That means, now it is working on only predefined members, but I want to use the insertion and extraction operator on user defined data type means objects. Now, how to overload insertion and extraction operators and here one more point is that actually C out is the object of O stream class and this side also I want to use another object. That means, I need how many classes? Two classes. When two classes we are using means uh, we have to go for friend, we have to go for friend. That is why here the point is insertion and extraction operators are working with uh, only the predefined data types in order to work with user defined data type we should have to overload them and how to overload the insertion and extraction operator and insertion and extraction operator requires two classes that is why we should have to go for friend we should have to go for friend. Now I will show you how to work with the insertion and extraction operator with the operator overloading concept. Okay, first of all common header files hash include I was stream dot h hash include conio dot h 
ok. Now we are having two header files common header files one is for to manage the cout and scene another one is for to manage the console IO operations ok. Later there is a class called student now I am going to work with the student and student class is having two data members student id number and name ok. Now, the student is having id and name ok fine. Later I want to input some data and I want to extract that data. Generally to input purpose we are using which one C out and output purpose and here means uh, to print the data we are using C out and to read, read the data we are using C in. That is why here I am going to write a function like this what it is friend already we have discussed because of to overload the insertion and extraction operators we are going to use two classes ok. That is why whenever we are working with more than one class it is better to go for friend that is why friend ok void next uh, operator operator and which operator I am going to use first extraction operator because of first of all we have to input the data input the data means C in and C in is associated with the extraction operator next. Now, the point is this extraction operator belongs to or associated with the C in object actually C in object is the derived from C in is derived from which class that is I stream that is why C in is associated with the I stream class that is why here we have to take I stream reference ok. Now, I stream ampersand in ok. For example, I stream is what here predefined class and in is what object, but ampersand indicates what reference type object already we have discussed how to work with reference variables and copy constructor I have given. Now, it is nothing but what reference variable now it is called reference object of which class I stream class. Now, I stream is the predefined class and in is the alias or reference name for that is C in ok and now I stream is the class in is the object next actually in this class we are going to use in this function we are going to use student class also no? that is why stu ampersand yes. Now, stu is the what user defined class I stream is the predefined class and in is the object of that one and stu is the user defined class and s is the object and this one also what reference object next. Now, here I am going to define the member function actually in whenever we are working with friend ok the declaration should be inside the class definition should be outside the class, but here the point is what where we are using the friend in operator overloading concept that is already in my previous session I have explained that in operator overloading we can define a friend inside or outside no problem at all ok. In general the friend should be defined outside, but in operator overloading we can define a friend either inside or outside no problem at all uh, next. Now, here I am going to write like this C out enter student id comma name C in here C in see this actually C in is the member of each one C in is the object of I stream for I stream object I have created alias in that is why here there is no need of in that is why in place of C in only in is enough because of in is the reference for I stream that means here I n in actually it means C in in next yes this is what student class object and it this one contains what id and name that is why s dot id and s dot name. Now, what happens s object created no? that object id is filled with the user given value name also filled ok finish. Now, it is in is the reference object of i stream s is the reference object of student class 
Okay, that's why here from this class one reference object, from this class another reference object. Both are used here. Next, it is for only for what input purpose. Next, how to output? Then another function. Once again, friend, return type is nothing, and operator common. And this time, which operator I want to use? Output means insertion operator. And this operator is associated with with object, which object C out. And C out belongs to O stream class. That's why O stream ampersand out, which is the reference object of O stream class. Okay. Next, comma student ampersand s, which is the reference object of student class. Simply print the data. C out id equal to s dot id endl and C out name equal to s dot name and function close class also close. That's why here watch it. C out, but here I have used what only out because of how it is the reference. That's why here there is no need of C out in place of C out only out and here also in place of C out out because of overloading. Okay. Here now out is the user defined means reference object and s dot id is the s members. Next how to call the members? Now main function. In main function first of all we have to create as usual object yes CLR is here. Screen clear now? Next, generally we are going to use what C out less than less than C in greater than greater than. But here what happened? In greater than greater than and out less than less than. That means this operator is overloaded. Okay. Why it is overloaded means now watch this. Okay. Here I am going to write like this. Generally we have to write like this. C out yes. Okay. C out less than less than yes actually c out is working on we know that c out is generally working on which one integer data type float data type character data type string data type and means uh, all the predefined data types but s is what here object of student class student is what user defined class that means what now the less than less than which is called x insertion operator is working on user defined data type that is why C out less than less than yes. That means actually we are out what what we are going to out S S is what user defined that is why predefined data types generally operators are working on predefined. But uh, in this technique we are going to overload the operator to work with uh, user defined. Next same C in greater than greater than yes and here when C out less than less than less yes is used, watch it carefully. C out less than less than yes. Which function is working? This function. Actually, this function is going to print the data now. Means first data printed. Later greater than greater than. Greater than greater than means this one now. Means now it is reading. Okay. That's why you are going to get garbage values. Why? Because first input, later output. But here what happened? First we are going to use C out. C out is used here. That is why first values are going to print. But no value is provided now. That is why what happens? You are going to get garbage values. That is why here the mechanism. Here the mechanism is first C in. Okay. That is why first is use the C in. Yes. Later C out. Yes. Now get C H program close. When C in is called greater than greater than is used here no? now it is going to read this one enter student id name it is going to read the data. Later when C out less than less than less than less than is used here no? now watch this less than less than left side we are sending C out right side we are sending S yes. that is why C out is nothing but the this one and S is nothing but this one that means here we are sending C out object. Now the reference is created for C out. That reference is what? Out. Means in place of C out, directly we can use out. 
and here also C in greater than greater than S. On left side we are sending C in. Now here I steam in. Now in is the reference for C in. That means in place of C in we can use only in. That is it. It is how to overload insertion and extraction operators in our program. Okay. Okay. Next uh, another important thing is whenever we are going to overload unary operators, okay. whenever we are going to overload unary operators, it should not have any explicit argument, it is the another important thing. When it is okay, without friend function, when friend function is used what happens? You should have to use one explicit and for binary operators two explicit arguments. When you are working with the friend, some of the operators are not to overloaded. They are one is equal operator. Remember this some of the operators are not overloaded with a friend and they are first one assignment operator, function call operator, subscript operator and pointer to member access operator. Okay? Here assignment operator, next function call operator, subscripting operator and function call operator, pointer to member access operator. Now, these four operators are not overloaded with the friend keyword. Okay? Thank you for watching. Thank you.